about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome back to happy for now it's me isabel here to talk about my april stats so april was a surprisingly good reading month i busted my slump in full so i was reading i have been reading at my normal ish pace but it's just felt like kind of literally by like the skin of my teeth like i'm barely hanging on to the reading groove but it's back and it feels so good so in april i read a total of 25 books and i hit my halfway point on my reading goal already which was 100 books it was a total of 6,327 pages. It was about 38 hours of audiobooks. This is with my sped up time, not the normal length. Uh, I averaged a three and a half star rating this month. I did a total, I listened to a total of 13 audiobooks and read 12 ebooks. So on that, let's quickly, I'm gonna give you like my top five rundown for April of my favorite books I read. And then I'm gonna close it out with the last like books I read to hit 100 books. So that way the next last 10 I read will just be 10 books. I think this will work. I think I did the math right. Other thing, on readathons in April, I participated in the reading rush. So I did read a total of six books for the owls in April, which was great. I am all set for my newts. I'm not gonna do like a full rehash of my TBR. I'll just tell you when I talk about books I read, what they were for. Cause I mean, I don't think you need that. Um, I've been talking about them already throughout my channel. So if you wanna know specifics, let me know. I can make a quick video, I guess. But yeah, I did complete the owls and I'm very happy with myself. So the top five books I read in April. Burn For Me by Alona Andrews. This was for the owls prompt. This was a four and a half star read for me. I loved this book. Everyone has been yelling about it on Twitter forever and I just was hesitant because I really liked Kate Daniels but I never finished the series because it's so long. I dove in and I really liked this. I listened to this on audiobook. I thought it was a great well-paced intro but action and it kind of just drew me into reading again in a way I didn't expect. Then I also loved Flame by Aletha Romig which I can't tell you anything about because it's the last book in no which I can't tell you anything about because it's the second book in the series, not the last. So it's a lot of plot happening and I just thought that this was stunning. Um, I think that if you read the first one in the series and are so-so on it, maybe try this one and if you're still like whatever, abandon ship, but this one I was on the edge of my seat the whole freaking time. Next is Lush Money by Angelina Lopez. I listened to this on audio as well and I had an arc of it. I was blown away by this book. I knew a lot of my friends loved it and I just couldn't get into it when I tried to read it previously. Again, dubious consent warning, <laughs> but it was a blast. It felt like such a good flip on the tropes and it just was incredibly enjoyable to read. Next we have All Together by Brill Harper, which was in the April Favorites video. This is a five star erotic romance novella. I think, I don't think they're very long can't recommend it enough honestly like if you are in a reading slump get this book immediately and last but not least is the widow of rose house which i also gave five stars to and absolutely adored as a gothic romance it is definitely not like on the page heavy romance um or any of that happening it's very slow build and slow burn but whew, it was a good book and i really enjoyed it i cannot i really cannot wait to see what else diana writes all right and now the last few books I read to hit my 100 books read for the year. I read Marrying Winterborn by Lisa Kleypas. This was part of the Owls Readathon. This was a three star read. I, three and a half star maybe. I really enjoyed Winterborn's story and I thought it was a well done audiobook. Again, Lisa Kleypas to me is just like a comfort romance read. I know what to expect. Generally speaking, I'm going to like it unless it's St. Vincent. Um, and generally like, I know what I'm getting into and this was 100% that. It was cozy, it was comfy. I enjoyed myself. Next I read Peace of My Heart by Frankie Love. This is something that brie has been reading this series a lot. This is a like 50 page short story almost novella with all food puns. Um, they're kind of problematic but also really really fun. I really enjoyed this. I gave it three stars. It's fine. I am excited to read the rest of them at some point. It may just be that like one day I sit down honestly and read them all um, or read a couple. They're literally 50 pages so they take 
no time at all to read and I just I had a blast it was full of cute pizza puns it's a very like insta love boom 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 hit all the plot points of a romance and you're done that's hard to do and make it good so this did that I'm happy next I read Guarding Temptation by Talia Hibbert I had an arc of this this is about a girl who runs a website around Brexit and dispelling facts and her brother's best friend who has to protect her when threats come against her life and it's them coming together as a couple and figuring that out and like is it okay isn't it okay this book is pretty hot it's Talia Hibbert it's well done I really enjoyed it I gave that a four out of five stars I thought it was fun it was a good play on a bodyguard-esque romance so is burned for me by Alona Andrews I'm not gonna rehash that again so I just rehashed it again it counted for my owls delightful then I listened to just this once by Rosalind James I got wrecked this on the Wicked Wallflowers podcast it is rugby romance set in New Zealand I enjoyed this this is like super soft contemporary like it really does like just kind of lull you into this nice sense of security I really enjoyed it. I think that this is a great Audible Escape romance. I think it's also on Kindle Unlimited. Um, I'm excited to dive more into the series. They're just very like, they're older-ish, like they're six years old, I think, or more. So they're kind of just easy. There's no like big struggle plot points. Nothing's like over the top. It's very just nice. It's fun. These were through, this is a three star for me. I do plan to continue on with it so I enjoyed it and then last but not least is Ashes by Aletha Romick I read this for the Light First Dark readathon which just happened and I honestly like had a blast with I really loved this finale I think that Aletha does a great job wrapping up a series and I'm like very invested <laughs> in the Sparrow outfit so I cannot wait for the next series to come out and I cannot wait to go back and finish the one I'm missing. So those were the last five or so books I read in April slash May 1st um, to catch you up to the 100 books I read so far this year. Uh, let me know in the comments how your reading is going this year. I know it's a hard time. Um, I definitely feel a lot better knowing that I'm kind of getting that groove back. It's been rough going for a little bit here, but we're here. It's happening. Um, I'm excited to see what my total numbers are and as a reminder any and all reading is good reading It does not matter if You've read one book this year two books five books 200 books Any of it's good, and I'm happy that you are reading so thank you so much for watching Be sure to subscribe and I will be back in a few days with another video. Bye really asking, We'll get away to a place where we don't know